Hi guys, so we have received this kit from Digimore. The model is D440. So to be very honest with you guys, I love talking and I love sharing my story. So if you are in the same boat as I am, this kit will be perfect for you. So what I'll do is I'll just explore this kit for you guys and we'll open it up. We'll see what all equipments we've received. So we have a tiny flap here down side. We'll open it up and this is what the kit looks like it's very properly arranged the packing is quite stiff so the products will not move while the package moves so we'll take a look at them one by one we have this very cool looking headphone which looks like this we also have the port to put in the jack here that will be easy to attach the next thing that we have is the pop filter. So this is what the pop filter looks like. It has the Digimon logo as well and the attaching equipment. The next thing that we are looking at is the mount of the microphone. This looks quite sturdy and the material also looks quite solid. We have the adjusting clasps here so this is how it'll look like moving on to the next layer of the box okay so we do have a lot of stuff to unpack here so we have the module user manual it has all the instructions for attaching for using the equipments and all the information that you need anything you need with regards to this equipment the information is all here and yeah the next thing is the warranty card the detail the details of the warranty is on the behind you can check it out now moving on to the main stars of the show which is this microphone this is how the microphone looks like with a cool digimon logo at the front i'll just keep this back really careful with this one and the next star is the life sound card so this product looks quite decent finish is matte black and we do have a lot of features and the options are available here so we have um, for beginning we have the microphone adjustment knob we have the monitor knob we do also have some of the sound effects that says gunshot giggle Awesome, we'll try that out later. Moving on to the other equipments that we have, the other supporting equipment is the clasp. This is the clasp that you'll use to attach your microphone and this, this is quite tight. Yeah, this is the clasp that you'll use to attach this arm stand to your workstation, which I'll show you when I do the setup. So I'll just keep it down here. And, last, and lastly, we have a couple of cords that will help us to attach our equipment all together. The first one is the 3.5 mm jack to jack cable. The next is the type C to USB type cable, looks something like this. The next we have another 3.5 mm jack to jack cable. The length of the cable is around this much if it makes sense um, and another one same thing lastly we have the XLR cable which at the one end has the female port and the other end has the 3.5 mm jack port so usually uh, the microphone cables like these they have the 6 mm port but this has a smaller one probably because of the convenience and keeping in mind how compatible this sound card is hoping it does not hinder the sound quality as long as it doesn't happen it's good to go so that's it guys this is all the things that we've received in the kit of digimo t440 and i'll just do the setup and i'll catch you guys in a minute
Now we'll begin with the setup of the mic that we've received. The mic is from Digimore D440. So we've received this arm stand with the clamp I've already attached with the workstation. And on the mount I have attached the microphone like this. Also I have attached this uh, pop filter here. We'll keep this aside as of now. Now we'll go towards the live sound card which we have received. Now we have a cable which is USB to Type-C cable. The Type-C part will go on the PC light section of uh, the live sound card. We'll attach this here. And to attach this to my system, I'll take this USB cord and attach this to my system light. So okay, now we'll turn it on. So to turn this on, we'll just have to press this. Keep it pressed until you see all the LED lights light up. So this is on. Cool. So as soon as we attach the live sound card to the system, uh, in the audio MIDI setup, we can see the device has popped up. So we'll select this. And that's it. Now just to check if it's still uh, configurable to our the DAW that we use. The DAW that we're using is Logic Pro today. We will go on the Logic Pro option, Preferences and Audio. So here we can see in the output device and the input device, we can choose the device that we're using. So the input device, we can see that the 220 has popped up. So in case if we are using the live sound card right now, we can choose the output device as DT220 and we can attach our headphones and then we can work around it. We have chosen the setting and now we will apply this. Just to check the setup of our headphones, we have gotten the cool white headphones. It's quite flexible. Uh, I'm not breaking it. Trust me. Yeah, we have gotten this headphone, it, they are quite adjustable as well. And we have gotten the cord that we are supposed to attach it with. So we have gotten this aux cable with the setup. We have the slot here. And when we come to the live sound card, we have the set slot for the headset as well. So this is how the setup will look like. And if you were to attach it right now like this, you can do that. And the length of the headset is quite flexible, so it depends on the user. That was all for the headphones. Now let's connect the microphone star of the hour that we're dealing with. So we've gotten this cord, which is the XLR cord to the 3.5 jack cord. We'll attach this female part to the mic down here and the jack to my sound card. So usually uh, the mic that I've used earlier, we've gotten the 6mm jack. Here it's the 3.5mm jack, probably for the convenience. Okay, so now we're done with the setup of this mic. Now we'll check the quality of the sound that we're receiving. So for that, I'll put on my funky headphones. How cool are they? White orange, cool. So now what I'll do is I'll increase the monitor output, okay? To approximately let's say 50% and we'll see how it's looking like on the screen in the form of wave sounds. So we'll increase the gain from the live sound card slowly. I'm going till about let's say 50% in the middle and here we can see the sound waves are quite decent we do have a scope we do have a scope of a better sound so what we'll do is we'll increase the gain quite more slightly and at this point i can hear my voice in the headphone very clearly and yes now here we go you can see the waveforms are quite clear like this and but for this as well i have to come quite close to the mic and so if i'm talking if i'm recording something i'll have to be quite close to the mic which is quite not comfortable but as i go far this is how my voice will sound like and you can see the wave on the screen has also decreased and if i come closer this is how i'm going to sound like 
and the voice that you're hearing right now it is without any filter it's without any effects this is the raw voice and this is the quality of the voice that this mic records and if i increase the monitor sound now it's full and the gain is also full so you can see the waveforms the decibels are quite healthy for recording something like this like like if two people are talking or something like that so this is the song this is the sound that you are going to receive now let's switch it up a little bit now we'll test this mic how the sound comes out what's the quality of the sound in a singing situation so now let's try to record a song so let's try out the singing situation how does a vocal vocal track sound like when it's recorded from this mic so what i do is uh, just for our reference i'll just open the equalizer as well so we can see how the highs and the lows are being captured by the microphone so here we have an amazing singer and we we both have uh, like put on the headphone so uh, we can just see that we have two uh, input places for the headphones so one is with me one is with her and at this moment i can clearly hear well, like what the mic is capturing right now so let's see how it sounds like when the singers try to record a song here we go mm. साजन मोर घर आयो साजन मोर घर आयो मन अति सुख पायो मन अति सुख पायो साजन मोर घर आयो मंगल गावो चौक पुरावो मंगल गावो चौक पुरावो मन अति सुख पायो प्रेम पिया सुख पायो साजन मोर घर आयो सो हियर वी कैन सी द माइक हैज कैप्चर्ड द ऑडियो इम्पेकेबल द गेन्स आर क्वाइट इम्पेकेबल एंड इन द डिवाइस एज वेल वी कैन सी लाइक वाइज आई शोड यू व्हेन शी वाज सिंगिंग द levels of the sound this was quite visible here as well so if you want to, if you are recording like a one on one session or a personal session you can adjust your uh, gain level the audio level accordingly okay now let's check out some of the features that this cool box offers us we have a lot of cool looking buttons here and we have a lot of uh, features as well so let's play along with them as we go i'll put on my funky headphones once again so um yeah so let's play along with it so in case if you are recording alone at home I and mean, if you need some motivation what you can do is you can press this button that says cheer and you'll hear something like <laughs> and if you need some constant motivation that you're doing a good job that you do then awesome something like this and in case if your jokes are as good as mine if you tell the joke and you need some response you can always go something like, <laughs> like this. and we have one of the cool features which this sound cards offers us which is the voice changing feature so this is how my voice sounds like without any filter without any effects but as i'm talking to you I'll just start sounding something like this which is really funny. Look at my face and look at the voice. It's not matching. But the voice now and my face is still not matching. But it sounds cool. But I can also sound like this and look like this and play along with the sounds which I have. Last time if you do this I can sound something like this. Don't use the sound quite often all around kids. It's quite scary. 
option. So these were the features that this cool box offers us. We have a lot of different options to play along with. You can use these features to record songs, record podcasts, record your voice, voice modulation, storytelling, whatever, whatever it is. So now we'll move on to the next features that we have. We can connect our phones with this and then we can play along with that. Okay, so now let's connect our phones to this sound card. So what we'll do is, first of all, we'll connect it uh, via Bluetooth, which is very convenient. So we, we just have to open our Bluetooth settings and we can see the device name already here. We'll just click on it and it's connected. For me, it's already connected because I was playing with it before. And we'll just play a song. Let's play one more song. We'll just play a song and let's play a song. The song will be this. And I'll just put on my funky headphones once again to listen to it. So right now, if I'm playing this song via Bluetooth, I can hear it in my headphones. And in the waveforms also, you can see we are able to record the songs as we go. So what, what I can do is I can just sing along with it something like this so close your eyes scale this down for a little while something like this so that was the cool feature that we can connect our phones or any device to the sound card via bluetooth play the song play the track play whatever voice you want and sing along and record with it the next thing what we'll do is we will try to connect our phones via an aux cable. So we have received this 3.5 to 3.5 jack to jack cable. And I have also received this type C converter which is really good for me because my phone does not have a jack. So we will connect this to the phone, the jack to the converter and in a very easy manner this jack to this sound box. Now let's check out what will happen. So just for the reference, the left side of the buttons which we have on the box, we will use it for all the vocal modulations that we're going with. And on the right side of it, we will use it for the tracks. Tracks as in the external device that we've connected or the tax tracks with which we are playing along with we'll use these buttons for that edit uh, for that modification so let's play this song so in this i can hear the song playing in my headphones but as you can see in the waveforms we're not seeing any waves being formed that's because the song is not getting recorded in the system so this feature is really useful if you just want to play along you can just Hear the song in your headphones and you can sing. So while you sing with that, the vocals will be recorded something like this. Everything in me, I was begging you, please don't go. And I said. So in this, we can record our vocals, but we're not recording the songs. This is a really cool feature if you just want to have a cool get together. You can have a karaoke party with it. If you're performing live somewhere, you can have the you can have the song play in your in ears, and you can just project your vocals as you like. So this was the feature where we can record our vocals, but not the track. Now what you want to do is, if you want to just eliminate the vocals from the track and make it a karaoke track, this product also provides you that feature so for that what we'll do is i will connect it via bluetooth once again right now, right now i can hear the track and the track is also getting recorded but now i want to sing along with the track so what we'll do is i'll play this and we'll push this button which says eliminate which will el eliminate the vocals from the track so that i can sing along Story, baby, just say yes. Uh -oh. That's it. Don't mind my 
I sing you, but you understand the feature, right? So we can hear that vocals are being really toned down. We can only hear the music and I can sing along, you can sing along and you can make your own track. You can have your fun with it and you can just explore these features as much as you like. Moreover, one more interesting feature about this kit is the whole process we have done system the whole recording process we can do on our phone itself. So what we can do is we can connect our phones directly to the sound card and on the Boya sound app we will start recording directly through this sound card. So in this sound card we can attach our phone, we can attach the mic directly and we can start recording. Also if you want to record our voice along with the track we also have the feature to attach a different phone here. So in one phone we will play track and in the other phone we will voice record our voice. Similarly, Jitna humne system mein process kiya tha, we can use all the effects while we are recording on the phone itself. So this was it guys, this was our experience while recording music, while recording vocals, while recording my voice with this amazing mic we have received from Digimore and the model is D440. So I want to share my experience with you guys, I have written down a couple of points. So the first is, we have received this amazing kit which of course the star of the show is the mic and the sound card but we have also received many cool gadgets along with it. The next is, if you're looking for a home recording experience, this is a pretty budget-friendly kit for you. So I'll highly recommend that. So while recording this video, I have realized that this kit is really good if you want to begin your podcasting thing. It's good for recording your vocal narration, your story narration, and for all the vocal modulations that you want to play along with. And uh, if you want to record some instruments, then it might be a subjective experience because the expectations for the quality of the instrument recording might be different. The next is it is quite user friendly. It was very easy to use. As you saw, we connected with Bluetooth, we connected the audios, we connected the jacks. It was very easy to use. So I have used this equipment in my Mac system and the door that I've used is Logic Pro, which was very user friendly and very easy to use. So I was curious that will this be supportive in the window system as well. So I have my window system as here as well. I've connected to that and uh, the door that I've used in my window system was Studio One. It was really easy. It was very smooth. The U UI is really amazing. So if you, it, it doesn't matter if you have a window system or you, if you have an Apple system, the recording experience will be seamless in both. So this is it guys. This was my experience while recording with this amazing microphone. The model is D440, the brand is Digimode. You can get your hands on and have your fun with it. See you next time.